Hello guys, uh, now I'm just going to eat something very fast because I'm going to the first meeting. Uh, it's a salad. Uh, I trained for about 20 minutes uh, in, the, in the morning and then meditated for 20 minutes to, to find my inner peace and, and, uh, and lay out the, the, the things I have to get done today. So for the place I want to rent, uh, it's a very important meeting. It's actually a crucial, crucial meeting. I have to have this location, but I have no money. That's the thing, I have no money. And the location is not fit for a restaurant, it's not built that the way I want to have it, it's not the sign I want to have it. Uh, and I want to have this restaurant ready, built and ready to go in 120 days. So I have to picture, that's the first tip I want to give you guys. Uh, I have prepared my pitch now for about a half an hour uh, on how I want to pitch my ID and how I'm going to pitch it uh, so I can get them to renovate the location so it's ready at the day 80 to move in. Uh, they probably don't even have renovated a place that fast, but they have to do it, and, uh, and that's how we have to do it. So the first tip today, always come prepared, always have the pitch prepared, always have the thoughts prepared, so you are prepared and not talk bullshit and confuse your mind. So always get prepared. Now I'm ready, I'm going to film a little bit more about uh, how the meeting is going. But until then, man, peace out. Hello guys, now I've just been uh, in a meeting with the, the person in charge of uh, renting out the, the restaurant location and uh, it feels good, I've been, uh, I've been nervous for this meeting and I, I'm looking forward to, to keep going now. Uh, I got out of the meeting how much the rent is going to be, uh, how they're going to renovate the, the locations and uh, and how much I have to, to make before I can uh, make this happen. But the best thing of all, I'm trying to close the deal now where we can start with the wagon to sell the products out from first so we can make the capital and, uh, and the customer, uh, customer base and, uh, and get to, to know people here on Sutra so they can taste the food before we move into the restaurant. Hi guys, I just want to come back with a new tip. As I said, you have to come prepared with a good pitch. But when you have a good pitch, you also have to come, come prepared and ready with the questions. I can give you a good example on this. If you want to buy a car and you come into the car dealer and uh, the car seller just present you a car and say, this car is for you. It's a sports car with two seats. It's perfect for you, man. But then you don't know that you are a family guy. You have three kids and a wife and a cabin in a mountain. You need a four-wheel drive, a big SUV, but he presented you a sports car. Of course, he can't not sell you this car because he don't know what you need. He don't know the questions. So that's the thing I did now with, the, with going to this meeting. You have to go in with a mentality and a, and a mission to extract, attract as many questions and answers you, you, you can before you begin to pitch your ID and pitch the prices of the rent or the price of the product and so on. Because when you ask the questions you want to know and attract the answers, you can reply with the answers they give you. So you have a foundation for the reply you have. You have a reason to say what you're saying. Uh, so so that, that's tip number two, always come prepared uh, with, with the questions, open questions, so you can attract as much information you can about the client, the dude, the girlfriend, or what the fuck you're doing that you're trying to close. And then you come in with your pitch and you close based on the answers you got from the question you asked. It's a little bit complicated, sorry, but it's not any easy way to, to, to explain it. But if you have any questions, of course, feel free to comment down below and I'm going to teach you it personally. Okay man, tip number three. It was a little bit too much tips today, but it's not going to be that many tips forward. Uh, I think at least, but uh, I'm just going to say it when I come, uh, come across it and uh, experience it myself uh, on this 120 days. But uh, the other tip is always to uh, evaluate uh, how the meeting uh, went, even if it's a good meeting or it's a bad meeting. Uh, even if it's a good meeting with, your, with the girl you want or it's a bad meeting with the girl you want. This is the only way to become better when you evaluate and think about what went wrong or what went good. This is the way you can know and learn yourself on what you did good or what you did right in a meeting or what you did wrong and what you have to do better. 
So always after a meeting, sit down, take five to ten minutes and just uh, think about how the meeting went. How, how, what did you say? How did you say it? How did you present it? What could, good, good, what could be better? Even if you got the sale, what could you do better to get an even better deal? Get even more money from them? Uh, it's always something to get better. But how to get better is always to evaluate how the meeting went. Even if it's a good meeting or a bad meeting. So that's the thing, man. Hi. I just want to check in to wrap up this vlog and summon uh, how the days went and uh, what we have achieved. So the thing we have achieved today is we have uh, figured out some uh, crucial points uh, of how much money we need to have, how much the rent for the restaurant location is going to be and how much it's going to cost to either rent or buy a wagon to start with. So that's the dilemma I'm standing on right now. It's then I'm needing, needing either 25,000 a month, Norwegian kroners, so about $3,000 a month to, to rent a wagon, food wagon to, to, to sell the products from, or I can buy a wagon for approximately $10,000, 75,000 Norwegian kroners. So that's the, that's the dilemma right now, but I'm leaning more and more, more, and more against buying the wagon because it's probably the only thing that makes sense with the, with the with the thinking about I can sell the wagon in a later stage and probably just lose a couple of ten thousands on it or I can keep the wagon and I can use it when I'm trying to expand to new locations like Bergen Centrum and stuff like this but uh, the rent in uh, the, the location is costing a lot of money but it's not not a big problem but if I have the wagon, that's my goal, is to have the wagon to gain enough revenue to boost and uh, support the, the renovation and the starting of the actual restaurant in the mall. But uh, that's my plan and uh, that's what I'm gaining today is knowledge, knowledge, knowledge and how much money it's going to take. So I have uh, think that I have to have the wagon ready to sell in 21 days. So in the next 10 days, working days, I have to sell for approximately 15,000 kroners each day to, to meet the goal to, to have the capital to buy the wagon, to test the products and actually starting to sell and have a marketing budget. So 15,000 a month, uh, a day, approximately for 10 working days is 150,000 kroners. And uh, that's, that's the first uh, money goal, and uh, I'm pretty confident I'm going to meet those goals. So see you later. Thanks for tuning in. And check out my vlog tomorrow to see which problems and uh, which problems we are solving and which problems that's harder and uh, what the wins are. Tomorrow we have to begin to sell the marketing media company because I'm going to use my sales skills as a media company. Uh, and my sales is to actually go out and find the customers to give me 150,000 kroners total. So that's the plan tomorrow. Start cold calling, start contacting people like a crazy motherfucker and just 10x all of it and just call like 200 people every day to, to get the meetings and actually close 15,000 kroners every day for the next 10 days. When I do that, I have the wagon and we are like 35% on the way. So it's not that long to get 35% on the way, so I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for just looking at this video at all. I'm probably looking fucking strange, but that's me, man. Just follow me if you want to learn something. Peace.